I have a mystery box. It's a uh, box of stuff that apparently belonged to an artist friend of mine who passed away back in 2000. It was 2000. Can't remember exactly the year, but uh, this is uh, July 25th. 2020, so it was approximately 20 years ago he passed away, and um, this box was in the possession of a friend of mine for many years, and uh, who, I don't know, uh, had some kind of uh, falling out with me and other people in Santa Fe. I don't really know uh, what the source of his, you know, trouble was, but apparently uh, he just suddenly stopped answering calls from some of us and kind of um, distanced himself from us. So uh, a few weeks later, this box came in the mail uh, to my business address, and uh, it's, I, I assume it's full of artwork, or it must contain artwork that my deceased friend has. Uh, left behind. So I'm going to open the box right now and look inside it and let's find out what's in the mystery box together. As you can see, this box has been outside, stored outside and has not been opened in a very long time. So it'll be interesting. We'll learn together what is in here. I haven't brought it into my house because I was afraid there might be insects or you know, creepy crawlies that I don't want in my house. So. this uh, this uh, was probably the last painting my friend did before he passed away and um, it might be one of my very favorite pieces of his work um, and I'm really surprised that my friend sent this because I know my friend paid money paid John for this painting before John passed away and so he must have uh, valued it. And um, it's strange that he would have sent it to us in the mail. Okay, let's continue on. Here. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a spider. Daddy long leg. Oh, run away, run away, little spider. Okay, wow. We have a beautiful landscape here. And it's beautifully framed. I have a, a couple of landscapes that John did or did, but uh, most of the work that he left at my house before he passed away, a lot of it got lost or stolen or damaged just because I, I couldn't take care of it. I was basically, you know, living out of my car for a lot of the time, so I couldn't uh, give it the care it needed. Uh, but John's landscapes, I think, are really beautiful. And these ones he did just before his death uh, show a sophistication uh, that you might not see in some of his earlier work. This is really beautiful. I'm amazed that John sent this stuff to me, uh, to us. I'm, I'm surprised. I wonder what's up. I worry about him that maybe he, uh, you know, I think he suffers a little from depression and anxiety. And, oh my goodness, look at this. Another really fabulous landscape by John Jordan. And uh, I was so sad when John passed away. He had been my roommate for a while um, and then uh, moved out to Pecos uh, up on Real Mesa. He was living up there just before he died uh, with this woman he met. And um, he was a really dear friend of mine. He you know, was kind of a father figure to me. He was uh, considerably older than me. He, the way I met him was he dated my mom uh, when I was about 10 or so. Uh, I admired him a great deal. He was a mentor and uh, and just a, a good friend. What do we have here? These are just loose canvases. This is a loose canvas folded. Wow. Oh my gosh. Really an amazing and incredible piece of artwork. Uh, and this is this is the sad kind of a sad story that you know John's work was really unique and beautiful and um, didn't get a lot of recognition, you know, most artists don't, he didn't sell a lot of paintings, and uh, so after he died, a lot of his paintings, um, you know, just have fallen into disrepair, or been improperly stored, or, or lost, or stolen, and um, this piece, you know, should be framed and stretched, this canvas should this kind of work that John did uh, is very unique, and, uh, and um, he, he always said that he painted what he saw. This has a date on it, it says 1989. I don't think I'd ever, uh, I didn't realize he was doing these kind of paintings in the 80s. He started kind of doing them at my house uh, in the early 90s. This has got some rot, some mold there. Uh, the reason I don't like, or I didn't want to be responsible for his stuff is I don't have the ability to care uh, for it. I'm, you know, basically have narrowly avoided homelessness for a good portion of my life and I don't have the resources to curate uh, this kind of 
art the way it deserves to be curated. So, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm largely at a loss. It's another amazing painting by John Jordan. And I can't believe, again, that my friend, who had way better resources to care for this kind of artwork, he's actually rather wealthy, uh, why he didn't just keep it and take care of it, because by sending it to to me and my business partner, I mean, we it's going to be really hard for us to take care of these. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. There's another, it's a rolled up piece of what looks like handmade paper with a gold leaf print. Really rather beautiful. It makes a really fancy wrapping paper for somebody. 450 it says. <laughs> Let's look at this other rolled up thing here. What is this? Is this just, just storage fodder? Okay. And there's a box. And the box appears to be empty. And there's a bunch of plastic baggies. And that's all that we have found in the mystery box. Not quite done yet.
yeah. It's done enough. Greetings, and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a PayPal button for your Google site.
Oh my god, it scared me. Sorry, bro. What do I love? No. Well, one of the things I love is food. And for good reason. Without food, we would die. I love open-minded people, people who are tolerant of others' attitudes. I love to spend time in nature. I like to uh, be in the great outdoors. You know, I would camp a lot more if I, if I had the time and, and the money. I mean, it's harder for me now that I'm older. Um, you know, I have health needs and stuff, medication I have to take and things, and camping is difficult, but that's one of the things I love to do more than anything else. I love learning new things. I'm always trying to expand my knowledge. I want to find out, you know, what's the latest scientific discovery, what, you know, what's the cutting edge technology, what are we working on? Um, it seems like in life there's, there's little else we can actually accomplish other than gain experience and wisdom and knowledge. And, and some of us seem to be better at that than others. Fears. What do I fear? What do I fear? I'm afraid of ignorant people. afraid of religious people. Uh, I, I think people who have renounced logic are scary. I'm afraid that someday I'll, I'll be an old man pushing a shopping cart and sleeping under the bridge down by the Santa Fe River. My greatest fear is that I'll die a homeless man living under a bridge somewhere. I'm afraid that the human race may never escape our gravity well. We may never get off the earth and colonize space. And 
eventually will all perish and there will be no memory of our existence anywhere in the galaxy. No one will even ever know we were here because we were just too uh, too foolish to concentrate on what's important and get ourselves, you know, off this planet and explore, start exploring the universe around us. We were too busy blowing each other up and fighting, fighting for the remaining scraps of resources on Mother Earth. What's in my pocket? I have vitamin C capsules in my pocket. Because one of the only things I can think of to do to protect myself from coronavirus eat tons of vitamin C and drink lots of liquids. Stay away from anybody. Clean all my surfaces with alcohol every day. And sit here in my yard and try to get some exercise when I can. Well, the sun's going down and the sky looks stormy. the day comes to a close, we have some rain clouds overhead, beautiful cool breeze blowing around, it's actually a really beautiful evening. July 25th has been a pretty good day. And as we come to the close of the day, beautiful little rainstorm, nice cool wind, It's getting dark outside, but I thought I would just give you a look really quick here at some of the paintings on my walls. This one I got out of the mystery box today.
This is a portrait of me that was done by the great Curtis Wade. He was rather famous and well known for his landscapes. He's very comfortable with a palette knife. And looks like it's all done raining. A few drops still coming down. The yard got a good little drenching. Yard lights are coming on, which means it's getting dark. I don't know if I showed you this little statue. Pretty much the end of the day out there, not much light left. <laughs>